Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved African diaspora news.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on AfricanDiasporaNews.org we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News channel. I am Wingil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report is just so sad. Um, we've talked about a Zimbabwean innovator before. Like He is one of the most significant young innovator and inventors in Zimbabwe. Maxwell Sanguluni was best known for developing a green power generator which can produce electricity using radio frequency. And he is now in a hospital in intensive care unit because according to his staff, he was poisoned and they they said they have been receiving threats and messages from people they call them the um, clean energy or oil mafia the people that have a lot to lose if he continues with his invention they are going to get out of market and they don't want that like this man is a genius we've talked about him before today's report is about a Zimbabwean inventor that developed a cordless television I Gambia reports a popular Zimbabwean innovator Maxwell has taken a few steps into the future of technology as he builds cordless television. The innovation has been seen as inclusive as it ropes into the needs of rural folks without access to main electricity grid. It is now possible for many people to enjoy watching TV while they are off grid. Goodbye to electric wired home appliances. Welcome to the future with the world's first free energy powered TV. The dawn of wireless self powered gadgets is here. And then in the article, it goes on um, to explain how Maxwell was able to do that. And I thought this was incredible. And uh, this is a Zimbabwe, and this is an African brother that is doing this. And this is not his first invention, by the way. He is also known for innovations such as helicopter, electric cars, green power generating machines and drones that are now in use in South Africa. It's really, really, really sad to see this bright mind now laying in a hospital fighting for his life just because he wanted to change the lives of many because he wanted to offer people cheaper access and he's not the only one according to them there was a chinese inventor same kind of invention um like our zimbabwean brother he was murdered and they couldn't figure out what happened to him so just to see our brother really suffering because of a mind that god has given them and he wanted to use it for the betterment of the people not for money not for power unlike this evil people that wanted to hurt him we really really pray that he comes through we really pray that he comes out of this healthier and better and i really hope that he had people that, that he was training and they have all the information that they need to to carry on and to move forward and to continue his work anyways family let us know down below what your thoughts are about what happened to our brother. I am Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Just when you thought it was safe to submit an idea to your employer, hold on. Before you do, read The Anatomy of a Corporate Lynching, Updated Edition, and Avoid the Great White Sharks. Available on Amazon Worldwide. And hear the audiobook featuring a cast of actors delivering the facts exclusively at fourthfordbooks.com.